All right, after eight years of racing as a professional triathlete and mountain biker, Jamie Whitmore faced her greatest challenge in 2008 when she was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. Now, after paralysis, the loss of her left glute muscle, and grueling recovery, she now finds herself back on top of her game, not only as a professional athlete, but as an inspiration to us all. And Jamie is with us this morning. And Jamie, you've been with us all morning. You were with yeah. us on uh, Tucasa this morning. So thanks for spending your, uh, your morning here with us. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. So you were a professional Xterra athlete, um, and this was new to me. So can you tell us what, what exactly is Xterra? Basically, Xterra is the off-road version of a triathlon. We, okay. we still swim in a, in a lake or river or whatever, and then we mountain bike and we run on trails. Okay. Great, so, and we got a little bit of video here. We can see, I mean, this isn't easy stuff that you're doing here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I can't do that at, you know, <laughs> at, at my peak. So, um, you were doing this training, you won a lot of awards. Uh, you were working as eight, eight years, right, as a professional athlete. Yes. And then in 2008, you get a diagnosis of cancer. Would, would you mind talking to us a little about that? Sure, I was, and it started with, the, with just, the, weird random pain mm -hmm. and then it turned into very excruciating pain that we I knew something was wrong mm -hmm. and after several misdiagnoses I think it was about it took about five months for them to figure out that I had a rare form and it was growing out of my sciatic nerve Wow very painful yeah yeah and so it it started with with the pain and then it also it left you paralyzed yes. a little bit is that right when I woke up you know the doctors asked me to wiggle my toes and mm -hmm. I did at least I thought I was, mm -hmm. and I found out that my left toes were not wiggling. Wow. And then a physical therapist came in a few days later and said, I'm here to, to teach you how to walk again, which was quite shocked to me because here I was, this former world champion, right. being told I had to learn to walk again. Yeah. And it took a good week for me just to learn to walk on a walker. Really? Yes. Wow. And I was on that for about two to three months, and okay. then I moved to a cane for quite a long time, and mm -hmm. I've had a brace. They do have to make a special brace for me because I do have drop foot. Okay. And so I, I can walk without it, mm -hmm. but it's better that I walk with better it. Better that you walk with it. Now, so how long until uh, after the recovery, when, because y doctors were saying that you would never ride even a stationary bike, is Correct. that right? So, and of course you said, uh, I don't think so, I'm gonna keep doing it. And I mean, that's what's so inspirational. How long did it take for you to get back on a bike and get back to doing what you're doing? Well, I had several setbacks because the cancer came back, mm -hmm. and then I had a kidney infection and went into sepsis. Then I became pregnant, mm -hmm. um, not even a year year after the first diagnosis of mm -hmm. cancer. And then, then I was busy being a mom. And <laughs> so it took relatively, I think, exactly three years from my initial diagnosis mm -hmm. just to get back on a bike for the first time and ride it. And I also required a, a special brace that made my leg more stiff. Okay. And so three years later, I, I got on the bike for the first time That's and it, so was, amazing. it was like freedom. That's great. Well, so what are you doing now? I know we'll, we'll talk a bit here in a second about what you're doing in New Mexico, but just in general, what's going on with you? Well, I've done things like the Leadville 100, mm -hmm. which is a 104 mile mountain bike race that not, I don't think a single disabled woman had done it before I did, which was last year. Mm -hmm. So that was, you know, a year after riding. And then now I'm part of the U.S. paracycling national team okay. in the hopes to make it to Rio in 2016. To Rio in 2016, fantastic. Yeah. And here in New Mexico, we will we'll have a chance to actually see you in person. So what are you doing here in New Mexico? I am here for the launch of the Faith and Fitness out okay. at New Covenant. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., we will be doing a registration and a walk, a balloon walk. Okay. And then after that, at 9 a.m., I will be talking okay. and sharing. It's gonna be a very in-depth story, mm -hmm. um, testimony of what I've gone through and how God's worked in my life. That's great. And so we've got a couple of opportunities to see you, meet you. And I mean, really, the, the story when I when I read it was just so inspirational, Jamie. And I know a lot of viewers out there really appreciate it. And congratulations for not letting it get you down and just getting right back up to it. Thank you. Yeah. And, and if you want a shot to ride with us, you can. We'll be mountain biking and road riding this oh, weekend. Oh, great. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. And uh, have you. fun this weekend. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, let's